Baby, you a masterpiece. God took his time on you. Always on my mind, but I'd rather have my mind on you. Beauty is defined on you. Perfectly designed on you. If you see your flaws, let it. What's up, you guys? And welcome back to another weekly vlog. So today is Sunday, and I'm about to do a Yoni Steam. I, I believe that I mentioned the fact that I started doing Yoni Steams, and that is in my Get Ready for a Vacation with Me video. I will leave a card up so y'all can go check that out. I've been doing V Steam once a month ever since and I really love it so we're getting ready to do a V steam today here is my V steam seat so let me go ahead and set it up and then I'll talk a little bit more about it So as you can see, I just took the top off and um, these are, this is the herb blend that came with the Yoni Steam Seat. It's like in a tea bag and you just drop the whole tea bag in there. But I also have it loose, like the loose Yoni Steam Powder. And I also just drop that directly in there. Um, either is really easy to clean up. I just really dump it in the toilet and flush it. But today I think I'm going to use one of the tea bags because that just... It's just the easiest thing. All right. Then just gonna drop the tea bag on in there. And then I'm gonna turn it on. Wait, gotta make sure I put the top back on. Then I'm gonna put the top back on. And then, yep. All right. I just turned my Yoni Steam seat on. They recommend um, that you let it boil or whatever, get really hot before you sit on it. So I'm just going to give it the opportunity to warm up and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So you can see it's kind of a little steam coming through. So it is ready and you can hear it popping. That means it's boiling and it's ready for me to sit on it. So right now I have it set to five. I'm just going to turn it down to like three. And then usually I end up turning it back up to four because I just like for it to get real steamy. But I always start at three because I don't, I don't want to sit on it too hot. So I'm about to go ahead and sit on my Yoni Steam. It really works because it's only like a foot tall. So it really works with like my counter space so I can do like something else like play on my phone or do something on my laptop or whatever. So I'm about to go ahead and sit on the seat. <laughs> I'm not going to lift it up too high, but here is the seat. I'm just sitting on it, and I like to wrap a towel around my waist. They do have, like, special dresses that you can wear, but I just ain't... I haven't taken the time to buy one off Amazon yet, so I just wrap a towel around myself, and that keeps the steam nice and trapped. And I'll probably sit here for about... Uh-oh, towel coming off. Oh, my gosh. But I'll probably sit here for about 30 minutes... Something like that. I just kind of get up when I feel like it, but I don't usually go over 45 minutes. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning. <laughs> and I am up about to meet a friend at a workout class. Um, it's called the ass class. Okay. It's called the ass class by the curvy killer on Instagram. So we are going to the class It's free. And you know, we should be able to get a good workout in. So that's where we're headed. Um, I likely will not film in there because you know, it's gonna be people there and we're gonna be working out. I don't wanna be worried about a camera, but I just wanted to let y'all know how I was starting my day. Um, I do have like on this cute matching, let's see. I do have on this cute matching set. I got on the matching leggings with it and I got my sweet sweat on, ready to sweat it away, honey, ready to sweat out. And I'm drinking a protein drink right now, an organ plant-based protein drink. Um, just before I work out, I was gonna eat a banana, but we didn't have any more bananas in the house. So I'm just trying to get something on my stomach a little bit before we get into this workout, honey. I'll be back, hopefully I'll be in one piece because child, these workout classes be working you down. Okay, so I'll be back, okay. What's up, y'all? Look, I know I went completely MIA 
uh, yesterday. You saw that I worked out and I really just got home and took a shower and I just had no energy to do anything else. And so I honestly truly just laid around yesterday. It was nothing to see. But I am currently in the Trader Joe's parking lot. We are going grocery shopping today. I love going to Trader Joe's. So let's see what kind of goodies I pick up. Such a long line. So, I'm back from Trader Joe's and I got a lot of good stuff. I got a lot of good stuff. Some stuff are repurchases that I always get when I go to Trader Joe's and some stuff is new. So let me show y'all what I got. So I got these organic potato, these like kettle chips. I'm really just a fan of kettle chips in general, so I started buying these. They're really good. I also got the kettle corn popcorn, y'all. This stuff is so good, especially if you're a fan of kettle corn popcorn. I really, really like the Trader Joe's brand. Um, this is like my second or third bag, so this is actually something new that I'm trying. This is the chili spice mango. So it's the dry mango with chili seasoning. I've never had this, but I'm really trying to get into snacking more. Like I really have to start eating snacks in between my meals because I'm so hungry in between meals, but don't necessarily want a full meal. So we're gonna try these out and see how they go. I'll let y'all know. Then y'all, I finally was able to get my hands on this lobster ravioli. I don't know when I'm going to try it, but I'm really excited about that. And then I got this Panay Ara, Ara Biata, or however you pronounce it. I've gotten this before, and I really like getting the pastas from Trader Joe's because I can like add chicken or add shrimp or add whatever I want. And this was really good, and it's supposed to be like in a spicy tomato sauce, and it actually is kind of spicy because um, I really like spicy food. So this was definitely a repurchase for me. Now, the Kung Pao chicken... This is something that I've been getting from Trader Joe's. This is so good. It's an easy lunch or easy dinner. Um, only thing that I don't use out of the whole pack, I don't put the peanuts in there because I don't really like, you know, like peanuts or other type of nuts in my food. So I use the everything else though. But this stuff is like super good. So, so, so good. I got a chicken fried rice. This is also something that I've been purchasing. Um, I either always get the chicken fried rice or I get the vegetable fried rice and I always add egg to mine because I just like egg in my fried rice and that's an easy lunch too. And then y'all know I talked about the vegetable gyozas and I also got the chicken ones this time. Um, my friend was telling me that I needed to try the chicken ones so I got them and I'm really excited because I really like the veggie ones. I also got this chicken tikka masala. I really like this for lunch. It's just easy, pop it in the microwave and it's ready to go. They're super good. Um, I usually get one of these every time I go to Trader Joe's. But the last time I went, I had forgot and I was really disappointed. I also got these chicken samosas. Um, for those who don't know, I used to live overseas in Abu Dhabi and I used to love samosas. Like, I'm really hoping these are good. I heard that they're really, really good if you just put them in the air fryer and do it like that. So I'm really excited to try these as like a little snack. Speaking of a snack that I knew I shouldn't have picked up, I got these mac and cheese bites and I was just like, ooh, like these are gonna be so good. Like, like a late night snack or something like that. Just pop them in the air fryer and they're gonna, ooh, I just can't wait, I can't wait. So I've never had these mac and cheese bites before so I'm really excited to see what they taste like. And I also got, I, I actually got two boxes of the Belgian waffles. I really like them, they're super easy to eat. I just pop them into the toaster oven. I usually just make like some uncured turkey bacon or something with it. And super easy breakfast and also really good too. Now this is something brand new that I've gotten from Trader Joe's. I got the savory herb chicken thighs. I've been seeing this and like all the other seasoned chicken there and I just never, I just never was interested in picking it up, but today I was just like, you know, I bet this will probably be really good. Something super easy to eat, like to just literally throw in a skillet or throw in the oven. So I thought this would be really easy for me, you know, for quick, easy dinner ideas. I also got a fettuccine Alfredo. Like I said, I really like getting pastas and then just adding whatever meat that I want. And you know, who doesn't like Alfredo? 
Like, who doesn't like Alfredo? I also bought these turkey meatballs. I heard they were really good. And I bought them to go in that spicy um, pasta, that spicy, that spicy marinara pasta that I bought. I bought these meatballs to go in them. But I've heard that these were really good to eat, like, alone. So I'm excited about that. I got some vanilla fudge chip ice cream. I'm a big fan of ice cream, for those who don't know. So this is my first time really, like, give this is my first time giving any trader joe's ice cream a try so i'm really excited if you have tried this let me know and then the last thing i got from trader joe's is these banana almond butter protein smoothies um i had saw that trader joe's had protein smoothies and i just i'm interested in knowing like what they taste like um they are they have 14 grams of protein per serving and it's not dairy and it has, it's a protein smoothie beverage with coconut water and pea protein. So I don't know what it's gonna taste like, but I bought two just in case I liked it, you know, the first time. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much for the most part all I got from Trader Joe's. Um, I'm really excited for some of the new things that I got. And you know, it's always good to have some of your faves in the house. So if there's anything from my Trader Joe's list that you've had or you have any Trader Joe's suggestions, leave them in the comments because I go to Trader Joe's about once a month and I need to get everything that I can while I'm in there. I need to be prepared, so. All right, so today is Monday and I just got done kind of prepping my plants for the spring. So I got some out here getting prepped for the spring and I do have a video about that. It should be up by now already and whoop. Okay, it's time for me to go inside because the bugs are starting to attack. Um, for those who don't know me, I get attacked by bugs every single season. So I am wilted up with mosquito bites every single season. So I'm about to go inside and I have a try on haul from a really cute black owned boutique. I really can't wait to show y'all. So let's just get on inside. Okay y'all, so we're back in the house. And I recently was at the Cascade Indie Market um, a couple of weekends back. It's in Atlanta. And I shopped with this black-owned boutique called Demi Diana. She has some really cute, stylish, and trendy clothes. And I'm going to do a little try-on haul with y'all today. I spent a good coin with her, and I want you all to see what I got because it's super cute. So let's get into that. Oh, and I'm on the phone with my friend Kayla. She might put her two cent in there, you know what I'm saying? So if you hear someone talking, that's her. She gonna let us know what it's giving, okay? Cool. Hey, there she go. So the first thing I got was this dress. Let me move my hair out the way. First thing I got was this dress. It has like this button detail. You button it all the way up. And I don't know what this material is, but it's a pretty thick material. This is what it looks like from the back. I think this is like a cute spring summer dress. You can throw this on for like just going out in the day. This could be like a cute like picnic outfit. You know, just something cute to throw on with some sandals or some sneakers. Kayla, what is it giving you? It's giving me I'm walking on the pier you know, on the, on the beach. Okay. Man, okay. Shopping in the city, going to the boutique. Ooh. You know, those are the kind of dresses you go, you wear when you go shopping. Oh, you know, yes. This is a good shopping dress. You're right. Okay. So I have this matching set, you know, something like, I don't know. I really like this. I feel like I'll wear this in a lot of different instances. It really just depends on how I wear it. This is what it's looking like. It's orange. It's like a it's like a, a brownish orange color. So it looks really good on the chocolate skin. Okay. And I think this is a really cute pair of these definitely with like some tennis shoes. I really wouldn't wear sandals with a style like this. But y'all know I love a good matching set. Can't wait to wear this out and about. What you think, Kayla? It is a 10 out of 10, definitely. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. <laughs> Highly recommend. I will be leaving the information for this um, company in my description below. Definitely go shop with her. Black owned, woman owned, you know the brand by now. This is giving me outside. This is giving me hot girl summer, but come pick me up after, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, let me show you the back. Bam! What is it giving? It's giving, isn't it? Like, if that's not giving hot girl, I don't know what is. 
This is super cute. It comes in so many different colors, y'all. I just decided with a neutral brown because I thought that that would be super cute. And I am a fan. Are you a fan, Kayla? I'm definitely a fan. Yes, this is super cute. I can't wait to pop out on y'all in this. Honey, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, y'all. This is the last thing. It's like this black blouse. Okay, so I really like the material of this. It's like a really, really like satiny material. And so I think that it looks really elegant um, that you can dress it up or dress it down. Um, the only thing I'll say about this is like the construction of this shirt is like kind of weird. So like I have to pull it to hold it taut like this. And then it's supposed to just stay like that. And then I have this part hanging. I think I would have liked it better if it was more of a, something to wrap around so I feel completely secure. Because I don't feel that secure right now. But I look cute, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, even this outfit right here, it's giving me lunch with the girls, you know? Like, what are we doing this weekend, sis? You know what I'm saying? Like, I give it an 8. Give it an 8? I give it an 8. It's cute. It's definitely a cute top. It's definitely something, you know, throw on quick, you're ready to go. You don't have to do too much. Heels, a bag, you know. But I agree with you about the construction and the way it's tied in the front. Yeah, so but that is all that i got from demi diana again i am going to make sure i put their information in the description below so you can shop with her she has a bunch of cute stuff and i believe she's actually dropping her spring collection sometime around now so check that out and yay i'm really excited to be outside of my new stuff okay all right you guys so i'm just here to end this vlog off thank y'all so much for watching my video tuning into my channel please don't forget to subscribe like and comment if there is anything in this video that you loved also don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms and i will see y'all in my next video bye